Hey everyone, I'm Brittany and this is Brianna. We're coming to you today from the airport in Chino. We actually wanted to show you what the differences were between our T-mini tug, which Brianna has control of, and I am in control of the T1 V2 tug. Um, these two are pretty similar uh, when it comes to customers asking about the differences. And so we just wanted to bring both of them out to the airport today and show you a little bit about what they are. So when you receive your tug, either the T-mini or the T1 V2, um, you'll have some of the same components that we'll send to you. Now I just wanted to bring out the chargers and just show you that um, this is the charger. You'll see that the T-minis is over there. They're the same exact charger. There's no differences in the uh, voltage on them. They both go in the same spot in the back of the tug. Another thing that's very similar, or it, that is very similar, um, is your spare parts kit that you get. Now this has everything that you might need if you need to change something out in terms of the tracks or maybe some fuses. I recommend to keep this around. Um, it does have a brass tool kit that you'll probably need sooner or later, just in case one of these uh, rotor clips pops out. But in terms of both of these tugs, these are very similar. They are both three inch tracks on both of the tugs. Uh, if you can see the difference in the two, this tug has a, a longer span of the track. So this one definitely has more treads on it versus that one has less treads on it. So you'll see that they're, I mean, it's a couple inches difference here. So um, the other, di another difference in this, in the two tugs is the cradle, I would say. The cradles are definitely made differently. Brianna, do you want to pull yours up so that they can see the differences? All right, yeah, so you can see that the rollers here are in different places. They do, this one will tow up to a, you know, five by five or six by six tire, and the T-Mini will uh, accommodate a five by five tire. So these two cradles here are completely different. This one, um, you can see, has these uh, push pins here. You can take them out and you can push it up to kind of make it a little bit more snug versus that cradle over there has a roller that you can that you can move. Um, I mean, it all goes all the way up to here. That would be specifically for, like, I would say a tail wheel. Um, you want to make sure it's smaller than five, inch, five inches, though, or else uh, you'll need a different type of cradle that we, we sell in our accessories page. Um, the two tugs also have the same tire guiders here. You'll see that it, that one also has them. Um, and the only other differences are pretty much major significant differences are under the hood. Now we're going to open the hood to both of them. And Brianna will tell you a little bit about the differences of her tug over there. It's quite smaller with the T1V2. It's an 8.8 .8 amp hour. And my battery is a 10 amp hour battery. All right, um, so this one, these two tugs, they have the same PC board, they have the same built-in uh, voltmeter here, they both have the same fuses, and the breaker is also the same. The speed controls are also the same, so the main significant differences, like Brianna said, internally under the hood are the gearboxes, motors, and the differences in the battery. You can see that they look the same color, but they're just a little shade off so that we can determine um, what volts are being put into each of these. Now we're going to show you a little bit about, or we're going to show you how they run and see if we can determine if one runs faster. We're going to have a tug race. Are yeah. you ready to race? Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, everyone, how did you like that race? That was pretty awesome, huh? Um, the T1 did win, if you didn't notice. T1's a little bit faster uh, with the ampage of the, the difference in the battery. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but since me and Brianna were using the tugs together, I just wanted to point out that there is no interference. So you can have a few of these at the airport. Maybe your next door neighbor has one. Um, there's no problem whatsoever. You won't ever experience any any sort of interference with these. I also did, if you're here, I also did want to bring out one of our older models to kind of give you just a little difference 
comparison here with both of them. Uh, we do get the question sometimes of what is the difference between the version one and the version two. Well, if you can tell, this one, I think, looks like a little bit more of a dinosaur. I like to compare it that way, kind of like how the dinosaur TVs look. You know, they're big, they're bulky. Now we have flat screens. Um, everything has been modernized. Um, the batteries back here, I mean, everything is just more bulky here and everything is more low profile here. Um, you can tell the lights are still the same. The cradles have definitely been upgraded and uh, the tracks for sure. Uh, we do tend to go through these tracks a little bit more often than these ones. There is a little bit more meat on these, if you can see here. Um, and the links are different too. So I the pins and rotor clips. Um, we did change these tire guiders here from the black block to just the standard aluminum. So those are a little different as well. We're constantly changing our product so that it's going to always be better. And then obviously the differences in controls here. This is a personalized one that we had made for someone and um, this is what the standard remotes look like now. So you can tell that there's been lots of modifications. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and move this little guy out of the way. Use our T1 to go ahead and load up the airplane so that you can see. Both of these tugs will accommodate non wheel fairing aircraft and tail wheel aircraft. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pull the plane out of the hangar. And as you've seen in the previous videos, you'll just make sure the tug goes right up to the tire making sure that it's centered with the rollers and then slowly ease your way in. Now you're ready to go. Do you want me to move the tug? What's awesome is that we can get all these three airplanes in this hangar along with the van. Some people have boats in their hangar. Some people have motorhomes. What's awesome is that we can use these small tugs to pull everything in here and um, walking around the plane while we're pulling it out. So it's hands-free. It's just literally done by one remote or one, one finger, one remote. And I'm gonna go by the cameraman right now. Cameraman. Cool. I think we cleared everything here. And I'm actually in fast speed right now, but you can see that I can just go at my own pace. So I'm slow slash medium speed if I want to, and then if I want to speed, I can. Um, Pretty easy. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take the T-Mini and we're going to put the airplane back into the hangar. Okay. Did you, you see how close he got to his face?
that's pretty much the end of our comparison. This is the T-Mini standard. We do have two T-Minis. We have the standard and we have the grab cradle. Now the differences are is that this has the square cradle. The other one has arms that come up and grab onto the tire. And that one is actually made for wheel fairing aircraft. So we're just comparing the two that are very similar today, which is the T-Mini standard and the T1 V2. And remember that V2 is version two. We kind of did a little comparison earlier about the differences in that. Um, I did want to mention that these two are very portable. This one, this T-Mini weighs 55 pounds, so you can pick it up and take it wherever you go, or you can create a little ramp to put it behind the plane or to put it behind the vehicle. And this little guy, this T1, weighs 60 pounds. Now it will weigh a little bit more in the box when we ship it to you. Um, that's for packaging purposes and whatnot. But I'm gonna show you guys how I go ahead and throw this in the back of my trunk. So I hope you guys enjoy this and have a great day.